Active Roles has another hidden gem in group management. It's called group families. You might ask, what's the difference between a group family and a dynamic group? A dynamic group is a single group, has its membership set constantly, meaning each time a change would be required for that dynamic group, that change is done instantly. With a group family, we're doing that on a scheduled basis. That's one important change. The other difference is that in a group family, we may have a whole set of groups as opposed to just one. Let's go through an example. Let's say I need to create groups for every single office location in my company. What I would do here is I create a group family. This group family would basically be a set of groups, and you can see it's again the employees OU, user objects, and I'm looking at the office location field. But if you're paying close attention, what you're going to notice you didn't see in there was me telling it which particular office location I wanted to create a group for, and that's because I don't need to. Instead, what it's going to do is it's going to create groups for every single office location that I have. And if you take a look, you can see here I'm highlighting them as we go through. So each office that I have inside my company, it's going to create a group for that and keep the membership in sync of that group all the time. And again, it will do this on a scheduled basis, usually once a day or something like that. And the reason we schedule it is the overhead is significantly smaller when we schedule something than if we run it all the time. So things like uh, office distribution memberships, just as the example we're using here, that can certainly happen once a day, while some critical security group might need to happen on an instantaneous basis. So with the group families, I can do both of those together without really having to worry so much about the overhead on them.